Hi, Miss Velvy. How are you? Hi, gorgeous. Do you want to tell everybody your big news? Are you going to tell them? Would you like me to? Hi, Velvy. You're so beautiful. So in our last video, if you guys watched it, I mentioned how I filed Reese's top teeth because they needed to keep wearing down. And I tried for velvet. I could wear her top ones, but she would not let me touch her huge bottom tooth. And I thought it was a little weird. And I also noticed that she had a lump underneath her jaw. So we have our appointment Monday. Right now it's Friday when I'm filming. So I thought, okay, well, we'll get it checked out Friday because Monday she's supposed to go to get her teeth trimmed. We've had two trimmings so far because her teeth just don't wear down right. Uh, her one bottom right incisor is just a massive tooth and it wears really weird. And then her left bottom incisor is kind of like a half tooth. It's really messed up. It's just a really weak, tiny tooth. But yesterday, I took her out because it seemed like she was having a real hard time eating. And when I took her out and looked at her teeth, that huge bottom tooth was crooked. I always say crooked. That's how my mom says it. Crooked. So anyway, it was crooked. And the swelling in her mouth was insane. So her gums were so swollen and the bottom of her mouth was so swollen and the tooth was at a really odd angle and I thought what the heck is going on does she have like a tumor growing under there like I couldn't even understand what I was seeing her mouth looked insane and once I started staring at the tooth a little bit more I was like maybe this tooth is going to come out so I gave it a good yank and pop out it came and it is massive and her mouth bled, so I had to sit with her for a bit until it stopped bleeding. And I rinsed out her mouth for her. And I luckily have lots of antibiotics here at home, so I started her on antibiotics. And I have Medicam for pain and inflammation, so I've been giving her that. So this was all last night, which was Thursday night. And thankfully she's eating really well today and seems very happy. So she still has the lump underneath her jaw. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but we go to the vet Monday. As I said, we were supposed to go for her dental trim. But I really don't think we need a dental trim because the tooth that was overgrown and weird has now come out. But obviously I still need her to get checked out. So I'm curious if the lump's going to be an abscess like Reese had. I really hope it's not. The only difference is she lets me touch this lump and she doesn't care or react whatsoever where Reese's lump you could hardly even touch it and she would react very violently like as if it hurt so bad so I kind of hope it's just um, inflammation that's gonna go down from that tooth I'll show you the tooth in a second because you won't believe how big it is so we'll see and the craziest thing is it's the exact same tooth that Reese lost so apparently they want to be twins I'm just really glad that she's eating super good today and her chin is nice and dry so it's not like she's drooling and when I looked in her mouth this morning like I don't see any pus or anything coming out of the hole where her tooth came out of so I really really hope she doesn't have an abscess down there she's just the sweetest little doll so I'm gonna grab the tooth hopefully I don't make her move it's okay <laughs> it's grabbing your tooth so here is the tooth. Like I can't believe how big it is. And this is the part, obviously, that came out of her mouth. So what do you guys think about that tooth? Is that not wild? I can't believe how big it is. I just am shocked with how much came out. I really hope that she does not have an abscess like Reese. Or I hope we can clear it up. Because things with Reese are very up in the air with how this year will go with her. She, like right now, Reese is perfect. But the opening to that abscess is still there and it still weeps. 
so we still have her on antibiotics and we're going to the vet to talk about having her on long-term antibiotics so I've never had a pig with that so I don't know how things go with that or what side effects or risks you have but for Reese right now like her quality of life is excellent like you wouldn't know anything is ever wrong with her it's just I have to give her meds in the morning and meds at night so I really don't want Velvet to have to go through that uncertainty as well. I'm just so happy to see her eating and looking great. So anyway, this is quite the journey. This is one reason why it's never good to have uh, too many pigs. It can get overwhelming quick. Like just when I was starting to think that things were going fairly smooth. Another curveball. You're so sweet, Velvy. What a good girl. Hey, Mr. Hucky. There's a little Buzz having a drink. I don't want to get too close and startle him. And you can see Autumn's in the back there having some hay. And little Annie Banani is over in this hay pile. Everybody's been liking the Garden Select pellets from Oxbow, which is nice. A little cutie. Sorry that I can't get closer to him. I just don't want him to be running away because he's enjoying his food. So we have Reese over there. I think Ray is sleeping. And Baby Pig. Oh, there's Baby Pig. Baby Pig looks like a big fluffy face right now. There's little Baby. She's snoozing too. Alright guys, see you later. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!